I'll answer what I can, but I can't talk about the investigation very much because it's an ongoing investigation, okay? Um, I'm not gonna say the guy's name. You guys know his name. He's in this jail right here. I don't think he deserves the, the glory for what he's, what he's uh, done. Um, Can you give us any updates on interviews with the people who were at the house where he was arrested? Are, are, are they arrested in any way, any other arrests? There has been several arrests, but I can't go into the details on that. Was there any confrontation when authorities went into the home? Uh, there was no, no, nothing, nothing major. I mean, just a little simple flurry of resistance, but they, uh, they had a canine dog from what I understand and uh, there's no injuries of any kind. Can you tell us who's home or at least suggest the familial connection, personal connection to this house? Um, the house is connected. Can you confirm it's his sister's house? I'm not going to say anything about that right now because the investigation still, we're still going. You said there were several arrests. Is it two, three, four? Mm, I'm not going to go into that right now because others are hinging on what's going on right now. So it's in progress. Are more arrests expected? Possibly. More than one arrest? Yes, it's been more than one. Has Orm said anything or have you all found the weapon that you used? As of now, we may have the weapon, but we have to wait for ballistics. So we, I, I can't confirm. We have spoken with him, yes. Somebody has co-opted Yes. Yes. Uh, all that will happen this morning is his bond will be set, and that will be done in the jail by a judge. It's at $5 million now? Yes, it, it, it's five, it'll, it will be $5 million. Okay, yes. No. Have the other people that have been arrested, have they been booked into the jail already as well? Some have. How many, how many people are you getting? <laughs> I, I, I can't go into the, it's, it's fluid right now. I can't go into that. No, it's not more than five, no. And they were inside the house at the time of the arrest? No. One was close, but that's. Deputy Chief, do you think he was there the entire time the last four days? No, he wasn't. When did he arrive? I uh, can't say at the moment. I don't know for sure. I don't want to give you anything that's not a true accurate statement, okay? We, don't know how he got there. we think we know how he got there, but we have to you know, we have to prove that out. Where was he before the dog? Uh, I'm not going to go into his exact route that we think it is until we can prove what it is, okay? No, it wasn't. Did you, is, is there any indication that he was about to leave this particular house and, and get on the move again? Not when he was caught. Uh, I believe he thought he was in a safe spot. Has his wife said anything is she assisting in the investigation? I uh, can't talk about his wife right now. If you guys were out there this whole time, there was a flurry of out activity on Highway 105 when we had about 30 vehicles and a helicopter go out there. We did confirm that was him on foot running, but we lost track of him. So that was not a false alarm? That was not a false alarm. That was him. When was that? Uh, I don't even know what day it is right now, so it, uh, it must have been Monday. <laughs> that, was, that was Monday. By the, by the landfill? Um, near the landfill? When the schools got locked down, it was that event. So if you were there, you'll remember it's all like one long day to me, so I don't, I, I don't remember. 
Not really. We deduce that pretty early on. Just uh, once we got the uh, federal help with the electronic equipment and the phone analysis, then we could we could tell that he wasn't people he was contacting were in the area and never left. Was he using a cell phone? Was he, using a cell phone he did have a cell phone. You must have picked that up. He had another cell phone. Yes. I don't know yet. Is his wife one of the people arrested? I can't go into that right now. Is he in this jail right now, or is he still being arrested? He's in this jail right now, probably having a hot breakfast when we aren't, and we're out here talking about it. <laughs> Calm. Has he confessed? I uh, can't go into that. Okay. Yes, I've heard this. All right. You got. Have any of you guys been to the scene where the house is? All right. You know what kind of roads those are. To go from here to there lights and siren, we're talking at least 30 minutes. This is not a rich county, all right? We've got three deputies on patrol to cover this entire county. If you're going from North County to Trails Inn, which is where this occurred at, it's an hour drive. That's with lights and siren, all right? We've got poor roads, we're understaffed, and welcome to rural law enforcement. This is the way most of this nation is right now. So our response time really, uh, I, I don't have the exact numbers, but I remember looking at, uh, we, we had a, a, a timeline on that, and I think it's around 14 minutes, something like that. But uh, I, I can't prove that. I don't have the paperwork right here with me. But for that area, that's excellent. Does that mean there was a sheriff's deputy probably down in that southern There was a, a other patrol unit on an aggravated robbery call, and they had to leave the aggravated robbery call, which is a serious call, all right? And uh, so you've got two bad things going on at once with one deputy to and do it all. You can't remember all the First assistant DA was on our air last night saying that the response time was 11 minutes. Okay, that, that sounds about right to me too, but I, I don't have the exact, that, that's that's the estimate right now. From time it was dispatched, all right. So when, it, when it's dispatched, that's when the deputy acknowledges receiving the call and then he starts moving. Now, you know, you've got to pull a guy off an aggravated robbery call and you've got to remember the initial call on this was somebody firing their gun in the yard, all right? That's not, at that point, it wasn't an attack. So the aggravated robbery trumps the guy shooting in the yard at the time. So he's doing that call, and then that other call escalated, all right? So we do what we can with what we have. Do you know if there was a history of disputes between uh, the suspect and the neighbors? Sir? Uh, Is there a history of disputes between the suspect and the neighbors? I, I don't really know the details on that. Uh, I, I don't want to give you a wrong answer on that. As far as the people arrested, as far as the people arrested, the people arrested are not telling us very much. Anybody that helps, anybody that helped this maniac is definitely got some kind of issues as far as I'm concerned.
Yes. Yes. Not that I know of. I'm not the sheriff. <laughs> He's what the day shift sergeant. That's one of the patrol deputies. And we got two more out. Just ones at the class. So that's the shift for the whole county. We have 32 sworn positions, and we're about six short. Um, we've got 28 jail positions, and we're 11 short. So we're missing half our jail staff. And if anybody wants a job, we're hiring. Okay. Uh, it's about 30,000. Yeah, that definitely. But I'm not the judge. <laughs> I don't set the bail. I can't go into the tip right now. All right. Do you know, do you know if we get more clarity today on the other arrests? Mm, you probably won't because this is all you're going to get today. The sheriff's going to be in hibernation, and I will be after we're done. Uh, all the detectives are down. That massive effort you saw was was wonderful. The effort was to catch this guy. The case is ours. We're this. We do our own work. All right, and you're talking about a lot of work. And we don't have many people, so these are going to be 15-hour days, seven days a week, till this thing gets wrapped up. Not that I know of. Mm, whenever the judge gets here, that would be sometime this morning. But they do that all inside the jail. No, ma'am, not not inside the jail. Jail on what inmates? Yes. Uh, there will be. Yes, that's all public record. Is that posted online? Uh, we'll we'll get it to you. Okay. Uh, I can't go into the. It's still fluid. Still fluid right now. There's. There's still things being done. <laughs> I would really, I've worked down there myself. I mean, when I started working here, I started in the jail and worked all the way to where I'm at. And I've worked down there and that's really pretty quick because if you're alone patrolling down there and you get in a gunfight or a big fight just to get law enforcement aid you're looking at 30 45 minutes and that's that's why you can't put people down there by themselves because they can't get help no sir they're not i don't know who maintains them i mean we've brought this up with commissioner's court many times. Put you on the spot one, one more time. The Montgomery County Jail is reporting uh, one of wife as being booked in that jail. That sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said Montgomery County Jail was saying that. Me, we're you. <laughs> but it sounds about right to me if they're saying that's the case, right? <laughs> Yes. Remember they say that gunfire there regularly happening. Does that impact the level of emergency when you first receive that call? Well, it does happen every night. Every single night. They're out there doing that. And by and when they're when they make the call, if a neighbor calls, by the time we get there, they know how long it takes. The guns are put up, everybody's in the house, 
and now we see no violation, okay? So when you don't see anything in your presence as a policeman, you can't just go in there and kick somebody's door down. But, uh, we, this agency, did not. That's what it sounds like. Because he said they were there. <laughs> uh, the, the district attorney is going to be working on a charge package with the grand jury. So they're, they're going to be serious, trust me. Just to be clear, we're not allowed to go in the hearing today. It's not really a hearing. He, he just gets a magistrate warning. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the judge reads him his rights and then signs the, the bond cert certification. Uh, that, that's all it is. Do you think you'll disseminate the mugshot maybe on your website or any idea how that process might come Probably. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go in there and talk to some people and we'll get, get that out. Okay? Thank you. Very yes. Anything else I can do for you guys?